All right, now at 5.30, this whistle doesn't even blow, but doesn't work, but you get the point. This is it. It was created by a 3D printer. The machine printed it from plastic, complete with a little ball inside. I'm told it works. It did work during the commercial. It did work during the commercial break. Well, anyway, uh, it was made at a library in Westport. And as Channel 3's Dan Kane tells us, folks from 8 to 80 are using these printers to make all sorts of things. We're all familiar with printers as magic boxes that make two-dimensional copies of things, but the printers at the library in Westport can make three-dimensional copies from objects found online. Not something you expect to see in a library. Probably in the 80s, you didn't expect to find personal computers in a library either, and libraries are the perfect place. Working from online images, the printers lay down layers of plastic and gradually build up objects from the mundane to the magical. A Statue of Liberty or a chain bracelet, one seventh grader made this cell phone cover. It's a lot of fun because I can make anything I want out of the 3D printer. Graham has been working with the printers for about 10 weeks. You hit a button and it starts to happen? Pretty much. <laughs> There's not much to it. <laughs> well, are you at all amazed by this? Yes, I'm very amazed by this. The printers cost anywhere from $400 for a do-it-yourself kit up to many, many thousands. The ones in Westport cost about $2,500, and folks from 8 to 80 sign up to use them. We've had inventors here um, printing out prototypes. Here we are in a library that is always about sharing ideas, communicating with one another, connecting resources, and that's what this does. It also makes, in this case, a whistle. You can just pluck it right off and there's actually a ball inside it. Libraries are the perfect place for people of all ages and all stages of, of their lives to learn about the next disruptive technology. Disruptive? Disruptive. Disruptive technology means it's going to make a big difference in our world. It's an algorithm in the printer that allows it to harden quickly and move a slender thread of plastic out over nothing. I think that's pretty amazing. And by the way, the whistle works. It's not something you should really be doing in a library, but... <laughs> and as is the case with any innovation, this is just the beginning. Where it goes from here, who knows? We're in Westport, Dan Kane, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.